And in response to those suicides, the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center is sending support to survivors of the one October shooting. That's where we find Fox 5's Cassie Milner. She talked with people there at the center to find out how they're helping survivors. Yeah, that's right. Staff here at the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center, they're reaching out to survivors and letting them know it's okay to still be hurting and it's okay to get help. Today I sat down with one, with one, one October shooting survivor who tells me that she just tries to take it one day at a time. It's almost like an, it's another day. Think of what can I do here and now to help the, the community become better. Cody is a 20 year old student at UNLV. She wants to join the military and fly helicopters, but she's also a one October survivor. Ups and downs. I do go to therapy. It used to be every week. Now it's about twice a month. And like many survivors, getting back to day to day life was hard. Anyone going through that type of experience would be expected to have a reaction and to need some support and some help getting through it. Terry is a behavioral health coordinator with the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center, a place where survivors like Cody can go and get help. She says everyone is different when it comes to processing trauma. People who have the most difficulty dealing with a traumatic event like that may have some pre-existing uh, concerns or depressive illness. Just this week, two Parkland students took their own lives, followed by a father of a six-year-old girl who was killed in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. It's the third suicide in the last week related to mass shootings. We are concerned about all of our survivors, and we want everyone to know that we're here um, for whatever it is that they need, uh, and wherever they're at in the healing process, is okay, we can help them move forward. That's why people like Cody are saying it's okay to get help. Try to reach out for help in some way, some floor. Come down to the Resiliency Center or just take a random walk. Find someone, go to a park, to talk about your life. Because sometimes getting it out there, out in the open, just lifts a burden off your shoulders. And if you're a one October survivor and you're in need of some assistance, the Resiliency Center here is open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reporting live from the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center, Cassie Mulnerick, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.